Hello all, welcome to the SOLIDWORKS tutorials. In the previous video, I have shown you how to model the parts of the screw jack. In this video, I am going to show you how to assemble it. First open SOLIDWORKS, click new and click assembly. So it will automatically direct you to the recent folder. So here I have kept all the parts inside a separate folder. So first I am going to open the body. So click it here. Right click on that and make the body as a floating one. Now go to mate and select the front plane of the assembly and the front plane of the body and click coincident. Then click the top plane of the assembly and top plane of the body and click coincident. Then click the right plane of the body and right plane of the assembly and click coincident. Fine. Then select insert components and select the second part that is nut. Click mate. Select the two circular surfaces and select lock rotation. Click OK. Click the nut and move it. Now select mate. Select these two surfaces and click coincident. Now go to insert component and insert the screw. So select mate. So here I am going to use the mechanical mate that is your screw mate. So here select the inner surface of the thread that is your nut and the top surface of your bolt. So change it to distance per revolution and change the distance as 10 mm. So that for each revolution it will move to 10 mm. Click OK. Now go to insert component, insert cup. Select mate, select the two circular surfaces and lock the rotation. Click the cup and move it, further select mate and select these two surfaces and click OK. Now go to insert component and select the washer, then go to mate, and select the cylindrical surface here, and the cylindrical surface of the washer, then click OK. Now to make the assembly easier, move the washer, then select mate, click the bottom surface of the washer and the top surface of the screw, then click OK. Now go to insert component and insert the second screw. Now go to mate and select the inner surface of the washer. and the circular edge of the screw. Click lock rotation. Then select the top surface of the washer and the bottom surface of the screw and click coincident. Then select insert components and select the Tommy bar. First I am going to 
make these parts concentric so select mate and select these two circular surfaces and make it as concentric and select lock rotation then select mate select this edge and the edge of the screw this is very important and select tangent now we have completed the assembly so you can see that you can click the tommy bar and you can rotate it so that you can change the height of the screw that's all thank you